Hi everybody. This is a little YouTube video uh, showing what I've taken on my ride around Lake Huron, my Lake Huron um, circle tour on my bike, um, which was a thousand miles, 1600 kilometers. Anyway, here we go to unpack the load. So if you'll just follow me. With the really hot weather, it's important to have ample supplies of water and this little jug here, which originally came with uh, grape juice, which tasted awful, was filled about like two times a day for 10 days for the ride, and you wouldn't be able to get around without it. Very good product, just intended for single use, but does work many times over. A great item for the for the val for the electronics and valuable items is the handlebar bag. You take it off and you go to the restaurant um, or to go anywhere of your essentials, your electronics are with you, and uh, at least that's something that can't be stolen. Other articles in this bag that are useful to take along, take a notebook with you so you can write your thoughts down. It's great for killing time while you're eating donuts at a Tim Hortons or drinking beer at a restaurant or whatever the case may be. A pair of binoculars, always good for checking out the scenery. I was just putting these articles down. Plan ahead. Make sure your route is a little bit figured out. Have good maps with you. A, uh, both a sunglass lens and a clear lens for your glasses because on a rainy day you'll want a clear lens otherwise you'll have trouble managing the distance. And that, just to be silly, cavities don't take holidays. Other items, putting your essentials to have a cat eye because you want to know how far you've gone. And I haven't sort of evolved to where that hasn't been, uh, uh, I've overcome the need to measure my distance. And now for the important part. Here it goes. Well, of course, before you go, you should uh, check out your bike. Make sure all the screws are tight. Make sure that uh, the tires are, are in good shape and, uh, and you're prepared for what might happen with tires or bearings or or spokes, uh, at least to the best of your ability. Uh, so it's, uh, it's important to have the pump. I could get into safety issues, but you know that you should be seen when you're on the road. Some biking gloves are good to cushion the road shock. And then now we get to the, to the nub of this whole hole for uh, the record. We have four panniers, front and back, and on the front here, the left pannier, after a little while, becomes the kitchen. And in the kitchen, we have pretty much everything that, that you want close to your stove top. We have salt and pepper, oil for the, the stove so the pump keeps working, matches, lifter for the pot. That's all that's there. You can even lose your little tooth. Uh, your little uh, tweezers here if you want. Just ignore this. We have two cups. This works great because if you're riding you need lots of food. So two, uh, you make two oatmeal in there and uh, fill up each cup. A spoon. Ten minutes, you can have oatmeal and coffee, and or uh, warm up anything you'd like. And the stove sits inside the pot. This is uh, pretty near. Uh, it's very important for the trip. Four, two. I hope my listeners. I hope my listeners aren't laughing too much right now. But anyway, just stick with me. We're in there. frying pan. Actually, I didn't use it very much, but it works great if you happen to want to warm up or make some bacon and eggs or warm up beans or fry something. And it's not too big, doesn't weigh too much. Tea towel. Washcloth. And then tablecloth. Very good for keeping rain off the bike on a rainy day or spreading on a dirty spot. 
So that's the kitchen on the down on the side of things. Then the other bag serves as food. That's sort of the kitchen cabinet. And in there, there's other items: dish soap of the organic, uh, non-natural variety, the knife, um, which is this serves as a knife for all purposes: cutting and cutting food, eating. Ignore this. The six egg holder, this works great for going to somebody who has eggs for sale and you just go up to them and you say, fill her up. And then you can make yourself a very quick and nutritious meal for the road. Peanut butter, never leave home without it. Penny, I'm not sure if you should take squeeze jam on trips. But if you do, you can add it to everything. Oatmeal, uh, you name it. Sometimes something slips into the bottom of the bag and it maybe shouldn't be there. Triscuit. Plate. Instant soup. The best thing for a ride when the weather gets into the high 30s. Then what do you know? Another tomato. And that's all for the panniers. And we're moving a lot quicker now. On the back of the bike, we've got in the bag here, essentially, two items. A tent, really too big for bicycling, but it works okay. Sleeping bag. Moving on, rain covers for panniers. If you put those on, it'll never rain. Got that? A jug of naphtha for the stove. Ten days travel, it's, this is uh, not half empty yet, so maybe I didn't cook enough or uh, should have uh, taken less. Bike light. Great for at night, reading, whatever else, and you can even use it as a light on your bike. Then, plastic bag for emergency for around the handlebar bag to keep the electronics dry. And, Safari pants. Zip the legs off. It works when the mosquitoes are going to eat you when you're trying to set up your tent or for those formal occasions on the road. Sleeping pad, downsized from previous trips. Sleeping bag liner. Keeps the sleeping bag a little bit cleaner than it otherwise be. Spare bike shorts. T-shirt. Rain pants. All important item, spare tire. You want to have a good look at that? Spare tire, sometimes you need it. And here's other use of the accoutrements. This is just a dry iPod. Doesn't work very good on trips. Runs out of juice too fast. And then for other purposes, passport, other items. And then other jackknife. I didn't lose that, I just realized I found where the toothpick was for. Oh, there we go, I mean the tweezers. Now we got it all together. So, that's it for that. Other side. Ah. We're going to skip taking that off. The plug here is that mech panniers don't fall off your rack. Rain jacket also doubles as a cold weather wind, uh, wind protection. Pants, shorts. There's actually some points in time where you don't want to wear SBE shoes. 
and so I have some sandals with me. But these are actually too heavy for the trip, but that's all I had at the time. Should have nice light sandals. More dirty laundry coming out of the woodwork. Sweatshirt, never used on the trip. And then this is the most useless item of the whole trip. You should have good stuff to, to know where you're going and what it's all about. And in this case, I took the Michigan, uh, what do you call it, uh, Forbes, Forbes uh, uh, travel book with me, and it's just extra baggage all the way around. So this is about a pound of stuff that I took for a thousand miles and got next to no benefit for. It. And that almost wraps it up here. There's nothing else here. Oh. Oh, just a minute. A couple of essentials. Don't forget your soap. Sometimes nice to oil the chain. A little three-in-one. Best thing going. And uh, that is about it. A thousand miles. Grand trip. You should try it sometime. <laughs>